Hello, my name is Jerry. I'm an illustrator and I write stories for children. This is a brand new book which I illustrated called Puffling and the Egg, written by Eric and McGann. Here we can see Puffling on the front cover and also on the back cover, holding her egg up with one foot in the air. And some of her friends are here. So I thought, let's draw Puffling holding the egg like this with one foot in the air. It's going to be really easy, step by step. So if you'd like to get a piece of paper and your crayons, coloring pencils, markers, whatever you'd like to use, let's get started. So we're going to do Puffling's head up here and then her body will be down here with the egg over on that side. So let's start with her head. So Puffling's head is a curvy shape, round and round and round, round and round and round. And we're going to go up to about there. We're not going to do a full circle because it joins up with her body, which is another circle. Now we're going to leave a couple of gaps either side. You'll see why soon. And we're going to go do her body. So curving around and then I'm going to stop there because remember her foot's in the air. So we're leaving a gap. And then we will go round up to here, round and round and round, up to about there. So that's her body shape. So she looks a bit funny at the moment, but we're going to be filling in those gaps pretty soon. So let's go onto her head. We'll put in Puffling's beak first, put a dot here in the center, and then we will do two lines at an angle coming out like this. Okay, so that's her upper beak and then her lower beak will be, again, two lines at an angle and we end up with a diamond shape. So next, to show that her beak is closed, we'll just put in a line going down a little angle and then back up the other side like that. And her beak's closed, but we can easily open it by putting in a line either side just like this and now we can see her tongue inside another pointy shape okay so next let's put in her eyes that puffling has round eyes so a circle over here and another circle over here And to, to bring Puffling alive, we put in a dot on each eye. Now she can see us. Hello, Puffling. Well, some of Puffling. Okay, so something else on her beak. Just have a look. She has two yellow parts. They're stretchy parts on every Puffin. Puffin's beak. So we'll put in those. It's a C shape. Just do a C shape. And then, oh, this is going to be like a backward C shape, isn't it? Well, curvy shape like that. Okay, so we've done Puffling's head. Now, I'm sure you've guessed that they are for her wings, those two gaps. So we're putting one wing waving at us. Curve up like that. And then come back down again to join up with her head. Okay, and then the other wing will be over here where she's holding the egg up. So we're going to go across to about there. Curve up a bit as well. So that's her second wing. And this here is for her foot in the air. So we're going to do a nice roundy shape like that, like a U. And then for her toes, we are going to join the dots. So you can see there's a dot at the top. Imagine there's a dot up there, and then we have a dot here and then another one here. So what we're gonna do is a curve up to that one and then another curve up to the second one. You see? And then we have our three toes and we can put in a line like that to show the under, underside of her foot. And then the other foot would be where she's standing on, right here. So we can give her her, her leg, a short leg, like a little straw, straw shape. And then again, we're going to do join the dots, put in dot here, either side, and another one in the middle. And then we're going to go that way, join to there, and then slightly curvy, 
down to the front toe and again slightly curvy down to the front toe so we have two feet but they're, they're different you see we've got we've done one up in the air that's we can see the underside and then this one is flat on the ground and it looks that bit different okay i'm gonna put in a little line there as well puffins and pufflings have claws on the tips of their toes and they can use these when they are digging a burrow they use their beak and their claws to dig a burrow sometimes they will sneakily move into a rabbit's burrow yes they share them somehow okay puffling's belly is going to be a round curvy shape so we can see her belly is a white color you see and then the rest of her feathers are gray dark dark gray so that would be all gray and we can leave that white if you'd like to color your puffling in after drawing her that'd be so much fun okay so we've done puffling now we'll do the egg now the egg is going to be an egg shape which is tricky enough to do let's go around curving 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 up the other side up to that there okay so there is puffling's egg that she found on the island read the story see what happens with this egg and we're going to put in a few little flowers these are all over the skelly islands where she lives white flowers and uh, there's purple ones as well it can be a very very windy place and the wind plays a good part a good role should i say in this story put in some grass there we have Puffling with her egg. If you'd like to share your drawing, you can ask a grown-up to add on the hashtag, hashtag Puffling and the egg. Okay, well done everyone. Thanks for joining in. And I have more videos, more drawings from Puffling and the egg and from other books as well on my channel. Okay, bye.